at the peak of its musical power, internal problems forced the breakup of Deep Purple. Now, after 11 years, the members are together again, trying to put music above personalities. Detroiters will find out how they're doing tonight at Joe Louis Arena, and here's a little preview. Get this show on the road. Getting Deep Purple on the road takes more than 20 tons of equipment, over 32 roadies, 700 lights, and a lot of heavy metal. After an 11 year separation, Deep Purple has reunited. And as bassist Roger Glover explains, although this 70s band was successful, there was a reason for the split. Well, people think that when you're successful, that that's everything you ever, ever want in life. Um, we were successful in financial terms, but we weren't particularly successful at that point in our relationships with each other. Um, although it had started off wonderfully in 69, 70, 71, by the time 72 got around, there was, a, there was a, a lot of little things going wrong. We worked very, very hard. We did, I think, 72, we did six American tours. By the time 73 came around, half the band weren't talking to the other half. A lot of little things. Um, and, in fact, John Lord put it, uh, death by a thousand cuts. There was no one reason why we finished. It was just, I think we probably just uh, got tired of each other. A thousand cuts? That's a lot of band-aids. Have you been able to heal all of those wounds? I think maybe 11 years apart has been um, a great healing device for us. Because in fact, there's, there's more love flowing between the members of the band now than there ever was. It's a very tight unit. Apart from the healing process, what about the maturity of the, the members? What maturity? <laughs> you, you said earlier I was 39 with one foot in the grave. I'm no, nine, you said that. 19 with one foot in the grave. <laughs> And we seem to get younger. Another thing the critics have cited is the idea of Deep Purple getting back together for monetary concerns. You guys can't be that broke. The prime motive for doing it is when we, when we found this uh, need for each other musically, and we found that we could perform again and, and make good music. That was the real reason. Money is just a, a happy coincidence. Eleven years later, and their music is just as dynamic. I asked Roger if this is the music of the 70s or growing into the 80s. Whether it's music of the 80s, that's for others to decide. All I'm concerned with is that we're natural, uh, unpretentious. We're not trying to be someone we're not. We're just five musicians having a good time. End of story. Aside from the initial apprehension of whether the pieces would fit together again, Perfect Strangers, Platinum after just six weeks, concerts selling out in just hours, Roger explains that this justifies the reunion. It's taken over a life of its own that we, I certainly never anticipated. And I don't think anyone did. The promoter, the manager, the record company, they're all just as surprised as we are. And um, it's a wonderful feeling. This is a Roger Glover question. Give me a sense of what it was like, A, being a part of Deep Purple, B, going on to a group like Rainbow, and C, working on a successful solo project last year with an album called The Mask. Back in the early days of Deep Purple, um, I don't think I really realized what it was that I liked about it. It was only after it had gone that I realized how important it was to me. Rainbow was a, a good band to be in. I was very thankful to be back on the road, to be back working with Richie. Um, but I never had the feeling that it was my band. It was always Richie's band and I was working for Richie. It's not to say I didn't have a, a great deal of input into it, it just it wasn't my band. Uh, on a solo level, the things I do are also my natural self, but they come out completely differently. I've always been interested in uh, expanding and attempting different kinds of music.
Roger is active in both phases of music, on stage, and also producing. But where does his heart belong? Performing is fun. Performing is uh, it's a great shot in the arm. There's nothing like a live audience. When I was a record producer, I missed the round of applause at the end of an album, you know. Uh, I think once you've been used to that, you always want it. There have been many bands that have attempted reunions before, a lot of times just for that purpose, getting back together for one time, a simple reunion. Are you guys kind of playing this reunion by ear, or is this going to be an ongoing entity? We're certainly not playing it by ear. <clears throat> right from the outset, if we were going to do it, it had to be done 100%. And that meant total commitment. And it wasn't just, let's get together and see how it goes, and if it doesn't work, we'll pack it in. Uh, this was done with the prime intention of staying together as long as possible. Uh, forever. This is hello, not farewell. J.J. Johnson with Deep Purple.